Wow, today we're at the Kennedy Space Center. We've never been here before. Leslie's been here when she was a kid, but we ran into some friends too. Not the rockets. I'm not talking about the rockets. I'm talking about these guys right here. No sticks, no bricks. Hey, Jason guys. and Jennifer. So we're going to be hanging out with them today, looking at all the rocket ships and all the NASA stuff. Which is worse, astronaut food or an MRE? Well, we just got here and this place is like a theme park. I wasn't really expected to be like a theme park. And it was like an hour and a half drive to get here. So we had to go to the bathroom first. And then, so Jason, he's like, look, the next show starts in 20 minutes. So since he is, is already planning and plotting where we're going, I, we have designated him our cruise director for the day. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool, man. We've already seen some really cool stuff, the IMAX. Them. Deep sky was just mind blowing. Yeah. Mind blowing. We're going to talk more about that in a little bit because I have some stuff that I need to talk about. Because <laughs> yeah. my mind is blown. Yeah. But I can't do it right here. Yeah. But I'm going to talk about it. But in the inside of here where we're at now is some very cool very stuff. Cool. Interactive stuff. Yeah. We get to learn. It'd be really cool for kids. So you're having a time of your life. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Jason's gonna inadvertently launch a rocket. Look at this touching stuff. Let's see what this does. You'd be a great astronaut. <laughs> Which is worse, astronaut food or an MRE? Oh, That's good. That is a good one. Good topic. Or who does it better? Yeah. NASA or the military? <laughs> We're inside what would be living quarters now, and so you have like your birthing quarters or your sleeping quarters down here pretty tight <laughs> then you got your food over here that's what I was just talking about looks a lot like military MREs oh look at this you can like it's interactive you can select like different parts of the uniform it'll tell you all about it about the helmet the technology how it works the suit all the stuff you see the little girl down here she's messing with that to see how all this functions very cool stuff if you were, let's say hypothetically, okay. if you were like one of the little puppeteer people in the uh, Peanuts, Snoopy goes to space thing. Yeah. If people ask you what you did for a living, would you just say, I work for NASA and leave it at that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I think I would. Look at these tires, man. On this Mars rover, you would never get a flat. That's awesome. I don't know how many miles you get out of these. Yeah. But this thing goes a smooth what? Two to four miles per hour? Yeah. That's cruising speed. Yeah. Max speed five to six. I wonder what the gas mileage is like. <laughs> I think it's electric, yeah. Meet the newest prototype, electric, electric vehicle. vehicle. See, everybody's going electric now. <laughs> everybody's going yeah, electric. <laughs> it doesn't matter where we go. Everywhere we go exploring, Leslie finds the gift shop. <laughs> they got these cool planet models that just spin yeah with no battery no power nope. no solar <laughs> they spin on their own yeah using the gravitational pull of the earth in the magnetic field that's crazy i want one and they're only like 300 bucks the only downfall is they don't have uranus i know if they had a uranus i would buy it i don't give a crap that's 200 dollars. <laughs> i would buy one absolutely i guess you have to special order uranus and I just might. I'm Googling when we leave here. You're going to Google Uranus? Yeah. 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 Yes. You might find some stuff you don't want to see if you Google Uranus. And if it's available, I am purchasing Uranus. On the drive home, I'm on the hunt for Uranus. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't know if they'll want us doing that in the back of their Jeep. <laughs> I hear you're looking for Uranus. Yeah, Leslie was actually saying, she was saying that... Um, on the way home in the back of your Jeep, 
She's going to be searching for Uranus. For Uranus. Interesting. <laughs> we'll have to roll the windows down. <laughs> uh, this is the space shuttle Atlantis. It's like a simulated launch, I think. Something like that is what it says in a little brochure. So we're going to go inside of here and see what it's like to be up close and personal during a launch. Oh man, how cool is this? This is very cool. They wouldn't let us film in the theater, but they do this whole thing where it's like a simulated launch and then the screen opens up and the actual shuttle yeah. is here, suspended from the ceiling. <laughs> when you walk it's in, you can see inside of it. Yeah. And now we're getting ready to go on this walking tour there, but tell us all about the stuff. Yeah. Man, I was not expecting that. No. I was expecting to go Very in the theater. Cool. Oh, it's gonna shake a little bit. Oh, yay, and we all leave. But this <laughs> is amazing. Yeah, to see it this close. Oh, man, so cool. Yeah, it, it looks a lot different than it does on TV because it yeah. looks all polished and shiny and perfect when you're up close you can see everything's just patches yeah. and stitches and oh. little tiles put together it's really it is really cool weird. man um we've never been up this close to a, a shuttle the heat was so hot it's turned these tiles white that's how hot it is look you can see some new tiles right up there and i wonder if they were to run a new mission or if this one had to get Put back into space i wonder if they'd have to replace all these tiles i wonder if they're single use or if you can reuse them but if they start that color and they turn bright white because of the heat you know that's some serious heat we're preparing for launch launch sequence has been initiated we are go for the slide roger that <laughs> stand by standing by all right, here we go. Oh shoot, that's slippery. <laughs> here we go. Two, three. <laughs> 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 Picked up more speed than I thought. <laughs> Get the pouty face? Yes. Because we're not allowed to film in the simulator? Yes. <laughs> you have to stow all of your camera gear. No film or photography. Two thumbs down. Half a star on Yelp. <laughs> Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new RV is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux yes. in the soft, oh, yes. in the RV King, <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature. It has like science going on in there that yes. keeps you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses, yes. and they're custom made for RVs. Yes. So they will fit in RVs, exactly. unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets, um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. You might say to yourself, self, what does this video have to do with full-time RV travel? And we were just talking yeah. to Jason and Jennifer off camera and we were saying, well, you know, it's the future of RVs. It as could well. be. Because a lot of the technology that they use on RVs comes from stuff that they have explored and learned through space travel. Well, and so what I'm talking about that, I'm talking about like solar. Yeah. Like solar panels and solar power. And I mean, because, they run the vehicles that are in space. Yeah. Well, not only that, I think that, you know, my mind. My mind goes forever. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I could think of possibilities first. <laughs> so what I'm, I'm thinking like, 
what if like in I don't know how many years from now, lots and lots of years from now, we won't be here for it. Yeah, I know. But what if there's like full time space travelers? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they're like full time space RV YouTubers. <laughs> or not RV YouTubers, but full time space travel YouTubers. So it'll be like those RV on the go rental. Yeah. That you can rent a little spaceship. Like we're going to go to Mars this summer and yeah. travel. <laughs> and we were like, no, we're full time. We don't have a home base. Well, I guess Earth is our home base. We winter on Earth. We winter on Earth. <laughs> we sure then we summer on Mercury. Yeah. And then we go to the other galaxy. Yeah. You know. So, it's gonna have it. Somewhere. Yeah. And then Jason was making a joke about there being like a Dollar General on <laughs> there, Mars. There so will be Dollar Generals and Walmart. So we're already setting space. it up. We're already it's setting it happen. up. So we'll have a Walmart on Mars. We can mooch dock there yeah. on our way to another, another solar system or some shit. <laughs> so yeah, we just got to figure out the food situation. But hey, you pack it like an astronaut. You got meal in a bag. Yeah, and then you got other stuff in a bag. Mm -hmm, yeah. So you got to figure out your black tank situation. <laughs> yeah. You just dump that in space, you know? Just let it float out in there in the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> or there will probably be like the galaxy glampers that have to have full hookups. <laughs> yeah, that would be you know? That would be so <laughs> Like, no, we are not stopping at Mars. They are only power and water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the things that go through that little head of yours. I don't know, man. It just keeps on spinning. <laughs> keeps on spinning. See, I told you. Full-time space travel. No, it's not what it is. Coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. No, it's not what it did. Huh? No. no, this RV went into space, right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> is there a placard? Yes, there is a placard right behind you. I don't believe it. I read it. Look. For 27 years, this transported the astronauts to the launch pad. Oh, and they could like make snacks and sandwiches on the way? And go to the bathroom if they need to? I don't know about that. <laughs> Did you read the placard? As I walked by. Oh. That's all I caught is 27 well, years. It brought them to the pad. I would think that they are, if there ever is going to be full-time space travelers, they it's will be, be in something air. like this. Yeah. Airstream is going to have the technology to, to nail it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It only looks like a spaceship. It, it does. Yeah. Put a couple heat shields on the bottom of that bad boy and call it good. Yeah. And I, I like the drivable ones. They look different. Yeah, the driving wear shrimps are pretty cool. It's not a travel trailer. We saw one of these in uh, Houston, Houston, I think. Has the they used it for trip. medical. Yeah. To do physicals and stuff before yes. they actually went on and stuff. Yes. But this is really cool. This I one like drives this. them out. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> well, it was dark when we got home. Yeah. So we couldn't finish telling our mind-blowing stuff your mind-blowing that we stuff. learned <laughs> and since we're filming the next day i can wear my uranus shirt there you go i found this very interesting we went to the imax thing they were talking about this web telescope mm -hmm. and this is a new telescope they just launched it actually two 20, years ago 2021 one. yeah on christmas day so it's been about two years and it took a little bit from to get it out there they launched it they sent this thing a million miles out yeah so just to give you some perspective the moon is about two hundred forty thousand miles away and they sent this thing a million miles out yeah and then got it set up which was mind-blowing in itself because they said there were 300 single points of failure where if one thing went wrong this 10 billion dollar yeah. telescope Investment. is space trash yes and he called it that space trash yeah. yeah it would just be floating out there and doing nothing yeah but it worked everything worked out good and so what they did was they set this thing up and they focused it on one single part of the sky yeah now to the naked eye it looks like this is little bitty square that they focused on yeah and here is the first image that they got back yeah and in this image this is mind-blowing in this image there are these these spots aren't stars these no. spots are galaxies yeah that was crazy and inside of these galaxies are hundreds of billions of stars <laughs> yeah each has their own solar system <laughs> Yeah. With planets and yeah. moons and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. And some of these galaxies are way larger than ours. Mm -hmm. Many, many thousands of times larger than ours. Yeah. They saw formations of stars, which was crazy. Yes. 
the birth of a star yeah. to the end of stars. Yeah, you they saw see everything. Yeah, they saw stars dying. Yeah, stars being formed. They saw galaxies that were close to each other colliding. Colli yeah. So can you imagine like galaxies running into each other? <laughs> Holy no. crap, man! It, it's too much. Huge systems of just gas and dust. Matter. Yeah. It looks really cool. Yeah. The images are just breathtaking. So and compared to the Hubble, I mean, we thought the Hubble was pulling back some cool images these are yeah. like though it's like the difference between a regular ultrasound and like a 3d ultrasound, <laughs> ultrasound. yeah you know because the new telescope does infrared yeah so that what makes it more vibrant and distinct and you can <sighs> see man it was so cool so they were talking about is there other life out there absolutely oh yeah there has to be there's no way there isn't statistically speaking there yeah. has to be and here i'll tell you why Okay. Mm -hmm. The Webb telescope has already identified several planets that are Earth-like. Yes. That are the right proximity away from their sun mm -hmm. and are made up of the right kinds of materials to sustain life. Yeah, has water. Because not only can we see some of these images, the telescope can tell you what the planet is made up of. Yes. Which is crazy. But we are not seeing these images in real time. No. These images are over 100,000 light years away. So what we're seeing now is that planet or that galaxy or solar system yeah. in the state that it was in 100,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. So that's mind blowing too. Because <laughs> yeah. even if there is life there, maybe we can't see it yet. There might be life there today, Yeah. but what we're seeing 100,000 years ago. So, so here's an example. So let's assume there's other life out there. Okay. And let's assume they have the same technology that we have. Okay. And they're aiming their telescope at us. Okay. And so they can see our planet. Mm -hmm. They might be able to tell what it's made of, that it's able to sustain life. Mm -hmm. But they're seeing our planet in the state that it was in 100,000 years ago. So even if they could zoom right into it, they wouldn't even see us. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to tell what our planet looks like yeah. current day. So... It's very intriguing. Yes. And so, it go back to, this is one little square yeah. that they're focusing on. Yeah, this is just a, like the size of a square on a Rubik's Cube was yeah. all they focused on. So if you divide the night sky into all these squares, now you have millions of squares. <laughs> and in each square you shoot at, you have several million <laughs> galaxies solar yeah, systems, yeah. hundreds of billions of stars, and that's just as far as we can see. Yeah, There's stuff beyond that that we mm -hmm. can't see, and we can't see in detail, and we can't see in real time. We're 100,000 years behind. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know? True. So, I just, it's mind-blowing to me. It is mind-blowing. You know? Technology's gonna keep advancing. They're only two years into getting images back from this thing. Yeah. They're gonna keep focusing on different places. I'm sure we're gonna pull back some really cool stuff, Yeah. and hopefully they'll be able to see and nail down that there really is other life form out there. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, but we had a great time. Yeah, the Kennedy Space Center is amazing. It's like a bit. It's like an adult playground. It was good for kids too. Yeah, I mean, awesome great stuff. learning. I, I mean, I went there on a field trip as a kid, but I didn't remember yeah. it. So it was nice to go back and do it as an adult. Yeah, and we got to go with friends, our new yeah, friends, we had Jason fun. and Jennifer from No Sticks No Bricks. We'll leave a link in the description so you can go check out their channel. We had a yeah. great time with them. A blast. I'm surprised we didn't get kicked out of the place because <laughs> me and Jason were just shenanigans yeah. and out of control. But it was fun to yeah, slide and slides fun. and crawl through tunnels. <laughs> and <laughs> we hope you had fun watching and hanging out with us too. Yeah. And uh, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.